In today's Paint People video, I wanna share some tips on how to pick paint colors in north facing rooms. Often regarded as one of the most difficult exposures to work with, I wanna go over all the things you should look out for. And at the end of the video, I'll also tell you how it's actually one of the easier ones to deal with, believe it or not. If you're new to picking colors, well, even if you're not, the whole process can be extremely daunting. Not only do you have to find a color you like, you also have to make sure it's as light or dark as you want, especially for your space, and it also has to coordinate with your decor. But then you have to start thinking about where the light's coming from. Is it a north facing exposure, south, east, west? What does it all mean? It just seems like you keep going down this endless rabbit hole of variables to deal with. I get it. But one of our major goals on the Paint People channel is to help simplify the entire painting process, including picking colors. And we already did a video on east facing rooms. So the next one to talk about, according to you guys, is the dreaded north facing exposure. If you're painting a room that has windows that are facing north, that means you're working with a northern exposed room. This has everything to do with where your natural light is coming from in relation to where the sun is. So if you're looking at your window, in let's say a time-lapse setting. So everything's moving really quickly from morning till night. You can start to predict how the light will come into your room through your window as the sun moves from east to west behind you. So the sun is really just moving on top of your head from east to west and then it finally sets. This means in a true northern exposed room, you're not really going to get any direct sunlight whatsoever. Oftentimes people will equate northern exposed rooms as being a bit darker in general because of this, but that's not exactly the case. You still have the same sort of natural progression of increasing brightness up until midday, and then obviously a decrease in brightness as the sun starts to set. In northern exposed rooms, there tends to be a cooler natural light. At best, you might have some more neutral white light at its peak, but quickly as the day goes on, and honestly, even in the morning too, your room will have a pretty general cooler color cast. Based on a lot of the comments that I get from you, I know northern exposures can seem like a bit of a struggle to work with. It almost seems like no matter what you put on your walls, it's just gonna end up looking blue. But that's what I'm here for, I'm here to help. So let's get to helping. There are a couple ways to go about working with this cooler light that's coming in. The first one has absolutely nothing to do with paint, but it actually just involves adding your own artificial light to compensate. Oftentimes, when I want to combat the cool nature of northern exposures, I would add pops of warmer incandescent lighting, maybe in the form of some neat little Edison bulbs to help reintroduce some warm light into the space to create a more cozy atmosphere. Even if it isn't incandescent lighting you're using, whether it's just an LED bulb that can be tinted or the color can be adjusted, you can just go with a color temperature right around the 2800 range, somewhere around there, because that'll give you a nice warm yellow glow to your lights. Even your overhead lighting can be adjusted so that you can change your bulbs out for ones that can either be adjusted to a warmer temperature or just use warmer bulbs altogether. The one downside of going with these warmer incandescent bulbs especially, other than the lower energy efficiency, is they produce less light in general. So the illumination won't be nearly as bright as a whiter or even blue light in some of those higher output LED bulbs. But that's your first option fight against the cool light with additional warmer light to compensate. But what if you don't wanna do that? Well, you don't have to because there's a few other approaches to picking paint colors in those north facing rooms that I found to be pretty helpful whenever I'm working in such a space. The first option is to go warm. By picking a warmer paint color, even that cool light coming in won't have a massive impact on your paint color. In the sense, it won't turn from yellow to blue, there might be a situation where that beautiful beige can become a bit desaturated, but still have the appearance of a warm paint color in general. This is probably the most common solution in north facing rooms. Although one thing I will say is make sure it's not a super subtle warmth because northern rooms have no time for subtlety. <laughs> Any minor warm undertone will practically get erased once that cool light hits it. So go big with your beiges go crazy with your creams, okay? You could also go the opposite way as well and embrace the cool lighting and go with some blues and greens and maybe some purples. This is definitely the, if you can't beat them, join them type of method. And admittedly, it's probably less common of a solution because not everyone likes those cool colors because it can make your home feel a bit cold, coincidentally. This is for the people that really like cool tones in general and appreciate that sort of aesthetic. 
Not something that I would personally be too fond of because I am really enjoying those lighter, warmer tones nowadays personally, but that's not to say that everyone should think that way or have that particular preference, it's just me. I think a nice compromise is to select some cooler colors that have strong, warm undertones. So instead of a hunter green, maybe opt for something that's a khaki type color. And instead of a deep blue, maybe go for a tropical teal instead. That way, your technically cooler paint colors won't go into ice cold territory. Worst case, they'll maybe just neutralize right in the middle rather than going too far into the other direction. Now I did mention that north facing rooms can actually be one of the easiest lighting exposures to work with. But before I get into that, I wanna just touch on neutral colors, specifically off whites. A lot of you may be tempted to pick your favorite OC dash whatever color and slap it in your north facing room. Or maybe you just have an off-white that you've been using everywhere else in your home and you simply want to continue it into this room. I've found that most neutral paint colors out there, whether it's your right down the middle gray or a very subtle off-white, those can sometimes be the most volatile and most susceptible to lighting changes. When the color is concocted to be kind of in the middle and then you have this cool light coming in on one side, it's more than likely going to take on a lot of those cooler characteristics. It's more prone to shift into that cool side. For example, something like Simply White, which is simply a white and a little bit of yellow, some cool lighting can turn that pleasant, clean, bright white into something that's a little more of a very, very light gray with a touch of green. So a very different outcome just based on the exposure alone. This doesn't mean that you have to stay away from all white paint colors, but it just further emphasizes the importance of testing your colors out properly. No matter what color you're going with, but especially with these neutrals and off-whites in northern exposed rooms, grab a tester pot from whatever paint company you're using and get a Mighty Board, which is a large paintable surface that you can move throughout your north facing room, and then you really get a solid perception of what's actually happening with this color in that particular space. Make sure you know exactly where you're getting yourself into before you paint everything. I'll leave a link to their website down below if you want more information on Mighty Boards. But it's not all bad news here. There's one solid plus side to north facing rooms that is definitely worth mentioning. The wonderful thing about northern exposures is you kind of know what you're getting into right off the bat. Especially after watching this video. How do you wink? But seriously, north facing rooms don't really change very drastically throughout the day. You don't have these wild swings of warm to cool like you would in other situations. You also don't have these rolling shadows coming through as the sun passes by your window throughout the day. As long as you're aware of the cooler lighting that's coming in, you can plan accordingly and you should have a pretty consistent look throughout the entire day, which can't really be said for most other exposure types. Now that we've gone over east and north facing rooms, what's next, south or west? I'll be putting out a list of some colors that I like in those northern exposed rooms in the not so distant future, so stay tuned for that. Like this video on the way out for me if you can, because I like all of you. I hope you like me. All right, that's enough of that, bye.